Hey YouTube, welcome back to Vancouver's Worst Drivers. For those of you who live in Vancouver, I hope you guys all managed to get through this snowstorm without getting hit by any idiot drivers out there. It's just been crazy. Like the last few days, I guess cut last couple weeks, it's been almost like 10 centimeters every few days. Just boom, 10 centimeters, boom, 10 centimeters. And it's just been crazy. So I hope you guys have managed to get through it. And just remember that summer is only a few short months away. All right, time for the videos. So take a look at this silver car to my left. You notice that we have a red light, but he guns it way too early just as this guy is turning left in front of him. Just unbelievably stupid move there. You can tell this guy's a Trump supporter because he's trying to make himself into a wall, blocking the pedestrians from crossing. Even though he's got his own lane to the right that he could easily turn right, he just chills there just for no reason at all. Who needs coffee in the morning when you're on your way to work, when you can just be involved in situations like this that'll get your heart rate up? Nothing will wake you up like someone merging in front of you and almost clipping the front of your vehicle. And then I myself had to deal with this on four different occasions in the last week. First of all, this car turns right in front of me super slowly. The same thing here happens in Coquitlam. You know, at least both of these drivers waved. At least they've got some manners. We'll give them some credit. And then this guy does the same thing, and look how slowly he turns, and then he decides to brake. Like, I don't understand how braking will help this situation. But this clip is the icing on the cake. This woman here in New Westminster is merging so slowly, she's probably going about 30 kilometers an hour. And then I'm like honking, and then she's realizing, oh, oh, I better go, as if, you know, 30 kilometers an hour is okay. This pretty much sums up what I was thinking at the time. <laughs> I swear, I'm a semi-relaxed driver when I'm on the roads. Now check out this clip in North Van. This guy does this crazy move in front of me to get off a highway, yet there's no one behind me. He had all the time in the world to do it, but decides to do it right in front of me here. Then this driver decides to do a risky move to get back onto the highway, even though he had two warning signs that this was an exit only lane. This is pretty much every cyclist's worst nightmare. Someone flinging their door open without shoulder checking. Almost clips this car here. At least Angus has pretty quick reflexes here. But guys, this is how cyclists die. You gotta shoulder check and use your mirrors. Here's a pretty dumbass move here. Check out this red SUV to my left. Changes lanes right in front of me without even signaling around a corner. Brilliant maneuver. And then we got another not so brilliant move here decides to do a U-turn over a double yellow in front of a few other cars without signaling. Just unbelievable. Why is it that pickup truck drivers always seem to do aggressive douchebag moves on the road? I mean, it's like this truck driver here. We got a green light, okay? He decides to go way too late through this light. I don't know, it just seems to me that pickup truck drivers like to do aggressive moves and kind of make up rules as they go. Kind of like this pickup truck driver, except he has a canopy over his truck, so he's trying to blend into the rest of the crowd here. But he goes right through the right turn only lane and just makes his own lane. Because why follow the rules of road when you can make up your own? This incident scared the crap out of me. So this white SUV ahead of me is turning the corner to go into Vancouver off of Second Narrows, and his hubcap explodes. He's turning, all here is boom, I see sparks. I feel like people are shooting at me. I feel like I'm like storming the beach of Normandy. I think we should just ban hubcaps. They're always just littering the road and they look ugly. This is a crazy clip that was sent in by 604 Culture. This pedestrian gets hit by this car and he is pissed. Look at him. He just kicks off this guy's side mirror. Just no regard for this guy's vehicle whatsoever. It's almost as if he's like playing football. His team is down by two points and he kicks the field goal to win the Super Bowl. This guy is going to be recruited to the NFL in 2020, guaranteed. And then lastly, we've got this Dodge Viper here almost gets sideswiped by this white car that's changing lanes. I feel like if you're driving a four-cylinder car like the white car and you can't go from zero to 50 within a millisecond, then you should not be pulling moves like this. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button for more videos coming out. And also, if you have any clips that you want to feature in my videos, email them to me at vancouverdrivingvideos at outlook.com. Look forward to hearing from you guys.